Asa Goldstock, Devin Parker, Riley Donahue, and Allie What a week. What a week. Um, you know, I, I, it, it was, that was just an incredible comeback, incredible game. I, you know, Virginia came out, they were prepared, ready, great game plan. You know, we came in flat. There's no question. We were, we were just flat. You looked at our players, they, there was no bounce in their step. Um, and, uh, you know, certainly played like that and we fought back I thought the real key was the end of the first half we you know we got a couple we fought back we, we showed we could score and that that gave us a little energy going into halftime I think and then to come out in that second half get the first one and uh, you know my mindset was you know we score three they get one we'll we'll get this done by the end and I think that's pretty close how it worked um, we get three, they get one. Got three, got they got one, and uh, then we got the last couple, and uh, just that was that was an effort that came, you know, some incredibly tired athletes that just dug down deep with inside was inside themselves and found what they had and gave it all and made some great plays come down the end and believed in each other and finished that game. Very proud of their effort and uh, happy with the W. Hey, Coach, uh, what's the message to your team at half to kind of blow them back? Uh, I think the message really was, you know, you know right, right before we went out, I, you know, I just said, take a look in the mirror, take a look inside, challenge yourself to leave everything you have on the field. And that's all you can ask, right? Step out there and really promise yourself you're gonna give everything you have to come back and play some great lacrosse. And you know what, they did it. And uh, you know, it's one of those crazy days you get to talk about it um, like this, you know. We had a team a few years ago that did this multiple times. We've seen men's basketball do a bunch, men's lacrosse do it earlier today. You know what, it just, you know, it seems to be something in the, in the snow, I guess, up in Syracuse that you're never out of it until the final whistle goes. So, it was great. Do you see this team as kind of a building block for the rest of the season, like heading into the tougher part of the schedule? <laughs> the tougher part, <laughs> I love it. Yes, um, it is, it just shows what they're capable of doing. You know, that tired, that many games in that number of days, and they can come out and outplay a Virginia team that was on fire. You know, that, that I think shows what this team's potential is. And that's what we talked about at the end of the game was this is your potential. If you can come play like this from the opening whistle, you can beat anybody. You said you had six saves in the game, and four of those I think came in the last two and a half minutes. Based on that, those, that flurry of shots, just kind of what's going through your mind? Can, can you take me through just, you know, especially the sequence where I think you had three saves in a row? Yeah, um, you know, we were up 16-15, and uh, I, I wasn't playing my best throughout the whole game, you know, and, and if it was time for me to step up and play the game that I know I can play and my team knows I can play and my coaches know I can play, then it was in the last two minutes of the game. Um, and I just... I just stayed with it, you know. If the ball came on my stick, I was right back trying to find it with another girl's stick. So um, it was a team effort down there in the D zone, and I think we, um, as a unit, you know, we stepped up and we found the ball and we, we stopped the ball from going to the back of the net. Gary, you took Asa out when I think it was seven to one or something like that. I guess <laughs> why did why did you decide to take her out when you did? Why did you decide to put her back why, in? Why did I wait so long? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, she's a freshman. She, this is her, her fourth game in, you know, eight, eight days, something like that. And it's it's tough, you know. Uh, we believe in her. We just want to give, get her out. Sometimes you can throw in another goalie and it sparks. And, uh, you know, they make a couple saves and get you going. And you're always going to give that a try. You know, we, we're very experienced at playing a, a two-goalie system from past years. And we wanted to give uh, – you know, our, our our backup goalie a chance to get in there and 
and try and spark the team. Um, it didn't go that way, but what it does is it gives your starting goalie time to take a breather, get focused on the bench, and then get refocused to go back in and, and try and turn our game around. Have you ever seen a game with so many offsetting fouls? Uh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Where do you feel Virginia was able to capitalize on your defense in the first half? <laughs> well, they, you know, it, it, they were just picking us apart inside, right? Moving the ball around the outside, driving. They looked sharp. Like, they were firing that ball from 20, 25 yards, rockets into the middle, catching them like nothing and ripping them in the corners. You know, they were on fire early. And, uh, you know, normally when teams play like that, they miss one here, they get a little tight. When they're fre they were fresh and they were on fire, throwing it, you know, around the outside, dodge down lane, throw it in the middle, dodge from behind, throw it in the middle, and uh, <coughs> they had success with that. Hey, Devin, uh, you had a really strong game offensively that you had to mention you by name. What were you able to see and do uh, to the Virginia defense that kind of allowed you to score in this course? Um, well, the past few games, uh, We've kind of had a problem with movement on offense and communicating that. So first half, I know that I personally came out a little flat on the movement side. And the second half, my focus was to constant movement and go hard to net because it opened up many opportunities. And by doing that, just kind of sparked the offense. Uh, Riley, uh, second week in a row, you had a big shot near the end of the game. Um, there's something about your mindset or like your level of play that kind of steps up when the game gets through those crucial moments. Um, I guess just the opportunity was there to take it, right? Um, our teammates did such a good job of getting us back, and I just think it was such a team effort out there that I just happened to have like the la one of the last shots. Same question for uh, Gary and then Riley. You said in the middle of the season is clearly a transitional year from, from a lot of the talent from last year. I'm curious, obviously, these two returners, um, where is this team compared to last year? And heading into the Maryland-Florida uh, gauntlet, I feel like you're where you need to be. So with that, give me an overall perspective right now. I think so. I think it was key to get through these first seven games. Now you play one and three, I think. So, you know, you got to be ready. So, you know, you didn't want to stub your toe against, uh, you know, Virginia I don't think is ranked right now, but they're a very good team. Uh, they, they had a couple slip-ups early, but they're, they're going to be solid. They're very talented. And... Uh, you know, we're, we're right where we need to be. Now, you know, to, to, to get through Maryland, we got to put a game together, you know. Um, you we're still the last team to beat them at home at Maryland. Long time ago, five years ago, I think. And uh, you know what? We're going to go down there and, and just give it our best, you know. Um, no expectations, but hopefully we can put an effort like we did in the second half for two halves, and that gives us a chance to beat anybody. Well, two games against Maryland, so you know what they're about, you know where you are now. What's your perspective about last year versus this year, where you guys are now? Uh, both very good teams that we've had, I think, just like uh, with the team effort and all. They're very different, too, so we have a lot younger of a team this year, but I think playing hard games like these early on in the season is really going to help us for when we play teams like um, Maryland that we've had trouble against in the past few years, too, just because uh, I know it really shows us that we can, we can fight against these hard teams and get the battle back. This is a lot different team for Syracuse than it was last year, in your opinion? Um, there's a lot of different players, but um, it's always the same type of chemistry, right? Um, Syracuse is really good about having just the same um, feeling, right, um, of a family. And, uh, Natalie, in the first half, you're, you're one of the few uh, Syracuse players to find a lot of success against Virginia. Uh, what did you kind of see in that first half early that kind of allowed you to do that? Um, I think I was just given some opportunities that I capitalized on. Um, I mean, we obviously all picked it up at house and we're all on fire, but I guess if you just have to step up and whatever, if that's going to be inspiration for the rest of the team, then that's fine because later in the game, other people were getting it when I wasn't. So, I mean, it was all just about timing, but we came up with the big plays in the end. And Gary, where does this comeback compare to you know, all the comebacks that you've been a part of? As a well, it, it's a great comeback. I think we were down nine goals there, 11-2 at one point. But, um, you know, it, it's a regular season game kind of early in the season, so... I think it's a great comeback as far as building chemistry on this team and, and understanding what this team's potential is. So, 
you know, I, I hope we don't have to keep doing this to, you know, show that we can play better um, than maybe sometimes we show. But I, I really think that, you know, who knows where this team's going to go. I think, I think they got tons of potential, and we'll see them hopefully rise this weekend against a great Maryland team. Yeah, question for you. 